In this feature video, we will be looking at labels, language texts, and report groups. And as a starting point, we will focus on labels. So firstly, what is a label? A label is often used to display language translations for a text. For example, a packing slip may need to be printed in English from the warehouse in the UK, but the packing slip needs to be printed in Spanish from the warehouse in Spain. In the example below, we can see that labels have been used to change the language needed on the report. A label is Dynamics 365 Finance and Operations functionality, and here we can see the Microsoft translations for the item number label. Notice that we have a language translation for ES amongst other predefined languages for the item number label. And here we can see the labels in the XML structure. So for each table in the query wizard, you will get a number of field values and the associated field labels. This is done automatically when you add field to the table in the query wizard. For example, in the sales packing slip details TMP table, we can see the field labels in the upper part of the screenshot and the associated field values in the lower part of the screenshot. The field labels and values are nested below each table in the XML file. So what is the benefit of using labels? So a benefit of using Microsoft labels is that Microsoft already provides language translations for many languages. So you do not need to define the language translations yourself. And now we will move on to a scenario where we add labels using the query wizard. And for this scenario, we will demonstrate the functionality by adding the labels to the packing slip report. And more specifically, we will replace the item number label with the item label. And this will be done to reduce the amount of space needed by the item number label. So let's open up our Dynamics environment. And firstly, we will generate a packing slip to see what it currently looks like. So we will click the icon dis to display the list of modules. We will make sure the sales and marketing module is selected, then click pack packing slip. And we can use any packing slip journal for this scenario as we are just checking the labels. So we will use the default selection, which is the first record in the list. We will click Lasernet, resend. We will make sure force rerun is set to yes, so we get a new XML file. Click OK. And here we can see the item number label is currently displayed, which is over here. And now we will change the language for this report and regenerate. So we will click the icon to display the list of modules. We'll go to the LazyNet module and then reports. Uh, we will make sure the sales packing slip replacement report is selected in the list. And we can see here, there is currently no language defined for the sales packing slip replacement, which means the default logic will be used to define the language. The default logic being, um, use the language defined on the sales order header, which is related to that packing slip. However, we can override this default logic if we want to. In this case, we will force the language to be ES instead. So we will click the drop down for the language and select ES. And now we will generate the packing slip again to see what the labels look like. So we will go back to the sales and marketing module and then packing slip. We will click LazyNet and we will resend the same scenario as we saw earlier. Click OK. Except the difference now is that the document is generated in Spanish and we can see here the item number label has now been changed to the Spanish equivalent. So we can see the language translation just here. Um, so now we will add the item label to the XML as this will uh, not need as much space as the item number label. So we will click the icon to display the list of modules. We'll go back to our LazyNet module and then reports. And this time we'll go to our query wizard and we can click next for the first two screens. 
We want to add this label to the sales packing slip details TMP, which is the lines table. So we will select that table here and then click labels. And here we can see all of the fields which are added to this table by default. So we will just create a new label here by clicking the new button at the top. And then we will click the drop down icon in the text ID field. And then we will click the filter box to enter a filter of item. And here we can see multiple label IDs for the item label. Some of these labels will have slightly different language translations for the item label. But in this case, we have selected label ID um, sys300356. And we can also see the language translations for this label in the lower part of the form. For example, Articulo will be used for the ES language. So we can click use system labels for this one. And we can see the new label has now been added to the list and we can click OK and then click finish. And now we will check the XML file by generating a packing slip. So let's click the icon to do display the list of modules. Make sure the sales and marketing module is selected, then click packing slip. And we will generate a LazyNet report for the first record in the list. OK. And we can see in our XML file, we have a new label here. And because the report was generated in Spanish, we can see that we have the Articulo translation, not the item translation. And then you would be able to change this label in the LazyNet developer and remove the item number label instead. Um, so that concludes our first scenario using labels. So now we will move on to language text. So a language text is LAC functionality and language texts are advantageous over labels because you can use them to define your own language translations for a text. The disadvantage of course being setup time as you need to define all of your own language translations for the text. And to demonstrate this functionality, we will use a scenario. So we'll add a language text in the query wizard. And just to give a little bit more detail on the scenario, um, the example we will use here is that workers in the UK warehouse are familiar with the term SKU. So that needs to be used instead of item number. And workers in the Spanish warehouse would prefer to use the term articulo. And unfortunately, there is not a Dynamics 365 Finance and Operations label for this language translation. So we will need to create a language text, then add it to the packing slip. So let's go back into Dynamics. Let's go to our list of modules. And then we will go to our reports. And we can see here the ES language has now been removed as we can see in the language field here. Um, so the document will be using the default logic. So if we were to use the scenario from earlier, this would be generated in EN US, which would be English. Um, so now we've selected our sales packing slip replacement. We will go into the query wizard. We can click next for the first two screens. And we will add our language text to the lines table. So that's the sales packing slip details TMP. And we will click labels. And we can see here we have the label that we created earlier, uh, but we will add a language text for this scenario. So let's click new, click the drop down. And previously we expanded the system labels fast tab in order to add the label. So in this case, we're going to use the language text for fast tab in order to add our language text. So we will create a new language text as the SKU language text doesn't currently exist. So let's click the new button here and let's give it a text ID. And we also need to define a language translation in the EN US language. So we've got SKU for the text as well. And now we need to create a language translation the Spanish language. So let's click these three dots uh, just below the other languages. Click new. Click the drop down, and we will select 
the ES language, which is Spanish. And then we will add in the language translation for SKU. And now we have entered Articulo. Um, so this is all of the setup required for the language text. So we can use language text down here. We can see that the language text has been added to the list. So we can click OK. And then we will click Finish. And now we will gen generate the packing slip so we can see the new language text in the XML file. So let's click the icon to display the list of modules. Let's go back to our sales and marketing module and then packing slip. Click the LazyNet button, resend and click OK. And in the XML file, we can now see that we have the new language text which has been added, which is SKU, along with the label which we created earlier. So we can see item as well. And this concludes the scenario where we add a language text using the query wizard. So we'll move on to our next scenario, which is report groups. So report groups can be used with language text. Uh, report groups are LAC functionality. Um, not Dynamics 365 Finance and Operations functionality. And report groups are useful if you need to use the same language text for multiple reports. And an advantage of using report groups is that you can reduce setup time by applying your language text to a report group, then adding the necessary reports to the report group. Uh, this is faster than having to add the same language text to many reports using the query wizard. So you can save quite a bit of time here if the language texts need to be the same across a lot of your different reports. And again, we will use a scenario to demonstrate this functionality. So we will add language text using report groups, and we also need to use the structure form as well. Um, so the report groups functionality can be broken down into these five steps. So firstly, we will create a new report group. We will apply the sales packing slip replacement report to the new report group. We will add two language texts to the report group, and then we will apply the calculation in the sales packing slip replacement structure form to uh, retrieve those language texts for the report. And then we will generate the XML file to see what that looks like. So we will go back into our Dynamics environment and we will click the icon to display the list of modules. Make sure the LazyNet module is selected, then click Report Group. And we will click New to create a new report group in the list. We'll give the report group an appropriate name. And we'll click the filter box here to find our sales packing slip replacement, just so we can apply this report to the report group. And now we've selected our sales packing slip replacement. We can click the right arrow to move that across into selected. And to summarize, we have now created a new report group and applied the sales packing slip replacement report to the new report group. So now we will add the two language texts to the report group. So let's, let's go back into Dynamics. Let's go to our list of modules. And within the LazyNet module, uh, we'll go to our language text option over here. Make sure the SKU language text is selected then click new in the reports group fast tab. So we're going to add the language text we created earlier to the report group that we've just created. And we will apply this to the warehouse reports report group. And we will now create a new language text and add it to the warehouse reports report group. And in this scenario, we will create another language text called delivery note, and this will be needed for the title of the document. So we can click new at the top to create a new language text. And then let's give this a text ID and a language translation for the ENUS language. And now we need to define a language translation for ES. So let's click the new option within the available languages fast tab. Let's select ES from the drop down. And we will enter a language translation for the Spanish language. 
And just like we did with the SKU language text, we also need to apply this to the reports group. So let's click new and select the warehouse reports report group. And now we've completed the next step, we can move on to the fourth step in here, which is applying the calculation in the sales packing slip replacement structure form. So let's go back to our list of modules. And now we will go to the reports within the LazyNet module. Make sure the sales packing slip replacement is selected, then click structure. And we'll add a new section to this structure so we can click the add section option at the top. And what I like to do is for uh, language text, I would usually have a section uh, which is above all of the tables. So with the new section selected, let's click up to move this up in the XML structure, up again. And as you can see, it's moving up one level each time. And now we have it just above the sales packing slip header TMP table. Uh, we can then make the necessary changes for this section, which will be used for the language text. So let's change the name of this section just so we can identify this in the future. So we'll call this language text and we'll have the same name for the output as well. And now we need to add our calculation within this section of the structure. So let's click new. So let's give an appropriate name for this. And now we need to add our calculation within the expression field. So let's click the drop down, select calculated. Um, so the language text reports display method is used to apply the language text from the report group to the structure. There's also a similar named language text display method, which is used to apply all language texts in the legal entity to the report. However, we will use the language text reports for this scenario. And we'll click the X to close this form. And now the style sheet has been updated. The changes are now ready for testing. So we can move on to the last step within this scenario, which is the generation of the XML file for the sales packing slip replacement. So back into Dynamics, let's open our list of modules. Let's select packing slip within sales and marketing. And let's generate a LazyNet report for the packing slip. And here we can see uh, we have a new section within the XML structure called language text, as we defined earlier, which is just above the sales packing slip header TMP, which we also defined earlier. And then we can see all of the language text that we applied to the warehouse reports report group within this section. So we've got one for delivery note and one for SKU as expected. This concludes the feature video uh, for labels, language text and report groups.